I'm Mr Parker and this is question 1 on the OCR Core 2 paper from June 2014. For more questions on this exam paper, click the link here or check in the video description. In question 1, the diagram shows triangle ABC with AB equals 8 centimetres, angle BAC equals 65 degrees, angle BCA equals 30 degrees and the point D is on AC such that AD is 10 centimetres. So all the information in this first sentence is already given on the diagram up here. In part 1 we need to find the area of triangle ABD, in part 2 we need to find the length of BD and in part 3 we need to find the length of BC. So in part 1 we're going to find the area of triangle ABD. To do that we're going to use the formula here for the area of a triangle and we need to label on our triangle sides A and B and angle C. I'm going to choose the 8cm side to be A and the 10cm side to be B and that means the third side would be side C. We're not actually interested in that, we're just interested in the angle which is opposite side C which we'll call angle C. Notice that to use this formula here we need the angle to be in between the two sides that we know. All we need to do now is substitute the numbers into the formula. So we get the area of the triangle is given by a half multiplied by 8 times 10 sine 65 degrees. And that gives us 36.3 if we round to three significant figures. In part two, we need to find the length of the side BD. First of all, let's look at the information we have. We know the length of two sides and we know one of the angles and we're trying to find a third side. To do that, we would use the cosine rule here because we've got three sides involved and one angle. As we're trying to find side A, we'll label that as the one we don't know over here. B and C can be 8 and 10. It doesn't matter again which way round this is. Notice here that we've actually chosen different sides for A, B, C than the last part of the question. That doesn't matter. You choose A, B and C to suit whatever question you're answering. We also need angle A, which will be opposite side A, so that's going to be 65 degrees. Again, all we need to do now is substitute these numbers into the formula. So we get a squared equals b squared plus c squared. That becomes 8 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 lots of bc. So that's 2 times 8 times 10 multiplied by cosine a. So cosine 65. And that gives us 96.38 and so on for a squared. Now all we need to do is square our answer to get A, so the square root of our answer is 9.82 if we round to three significant figures. In part three, we need to find the length of BC. This time we're going to consider the larger triangle. And in the larger triangle, we know one of the sides here, and we know two of the angles. This 10 centimetres is only from A to D, so that's not the length of this side and we can't use it when calculations for this triangle. So if we know two angles on one side, we can use the sine rule. And the sine rule says A over sine A equals B over sine B. We'll label the 8 centimetres side A, which means we'll call the other side that we're looking for side B. That makes the 30 degree angle angle A and the 65 degree angle angle B. Substituting the values into our formula, a is 8 and angle A is 30 degrees, so we get 8 over sine 30 degrees equals B over sine 65 degrees. To get B on its own, we need to multiply both sides by sine 65, and that gives us 8 sine 65 over sine 30 equals B. And that gives us 14.5 if we round to three significant figures.